In this video I will show you how to use the extruded boss base feature. To create an extrusion of a fixed cross-sectional shape, I will ensure the sketch used is fully defined so that all the dimensions required to fix the shape in space are given. This will then be extruded by a given length and the file saved, and I will also add a material and determine the weight of the extruded part. You can see this extrusion does not change shape across its length and the origin is placed in the centre of its length which means I need to use a mid-plane extrusion rather than a blind extrusion. But the first thing I need to do is to determine the cross-sectional shape. You can see that there's a lot of relationships in this cross-section. These two lines you can see are collinear, the lengths of these two lines as well as this line are the same and this line here and this arc here is tangential to this line. These two lines are the same length and there's lots of horizontal and vertical lines as well. So let's create a new part. Now I'm going to place the sketch of the cross section on the right plane and I'll begin by using the center at the top left corner of the cross section. And I'm just going to use freeform lines to sketch out the basis of the cross section. You'll see a number of dashed lines appearing as I move around the sketch and that's just snap lines telling me where the mid midpoints of lines are and where a line would be if it was to be horizontal. Okay, so that's the basic shape there. Now let's add some dimensions. And now we need to add some relations. So if I zoom in, I need to make sure this line here has a collinear relationship with that line. Now all these blue lines are undefined or not fully defined. The black lines are fully defined. So we need to do a little bit more work to make sure that all the lines are black before we proceed and extrude this cross section. Now what I'd like to do is make all of these lines 5 in length but I'd also like to make sure this line here is 5 mils away from that line. So what we can do there is put in a center line and add that to the relationship between the other lines. So we take the one that's been dimensioned, add a relation to all the others, as well as this one, and say they have to be equal in length. We can also say that this point here has to be vertical to that point there. Okay, and that's fully defined our sketch. So now we can create the extrusion by using the extruded boss base feature. And there's a number of options here. We can either use a blind extrusion. If we make the extrusion length 100 and we use a blind extrusion, it will extrude from that point, the 00, zero point where we created the cross-sectional sketch, and it'll extrude only one way. And of course we can change that direction if we wanted to, just by toggling the blind button. But our part needs its centre in the origin, so we're going to not use a blind but a mid-plane 
extrusion. And there's our extruded part. We'll add a material, so we say edit material and we'll make it just a plain carbon steel. We'll save that again. We can go into tools now, mass properties, and we can say straight away that it's 501 grams. And that's a quick explanation of the extruded OS base feature.